This tutorial will teach you how to navigate GrabCAD Print's PolyJet UI so you can apply various colors to your part. This tutorial is applicable to GrabCAD Print version 1.39 and above. All previous versions will have a drastically different UI. So here we have a clamp that we want to apply colors to. To add colors, we first need to know what materials we have loaded. We can find what materials we have loaded by moving our mouse over to Tray Settings. This will show us a small menu of what is currently listed as loaded. We can click on the Change button, which will bring us to an expanded menu of what can be loaded. If you are directly connected to your printer, you can click on Get Printer Loaded Materials for an updated list. And we have all Vero Vivid Materials, Vero Black Plus, Vero Pure White, and both transparent materials. This will give us many options. Now that we know what we have loaded, we can move on to model settings for options on adding color to our part. We will select one part of the model, which will enable the features within model settings. We have a nice drop down bar with various options, and we will go through all of them. We will start with the tray materials option. With tray materials, we can directly select a single material we have loaded and assign it to a part. Within this option, you can select only one color to one part, but it is very consistent. You will also notice this plus button. This allows you to save a color selection for later use. We will save Vero Cyan. Our next option to add color is the color picker. In color picker, we can simply move down towards this large box and click on specific color or drag the circle along. You can manipulate the color by moving this color slider. Notice the hex values changing as you change the color. You can type in a numerical value for the hex color box directly if you have one. You can also manipulate the color by clicking this arrow and inputting the RGB values. Clicking the arrow again also gives you the option of using HSLA if you use that system. Whenever you're making a color selection in the color picker, please make note of the selected color versus the actual color. We will save this color that we created. Moving back up to the drop-down bar, we have Digital Materials. Digital Materials allows the user to choose and mix two to three materials to produce a composite material with pre-configured flexibility and color. Just choose a minimum of two materials and you're given Stratasys pre-mixed color options, tones, and physical property configurations. This option is very reliable and you can replicate certain properties of certain elastolomers and basic plastics based on what you have loaded on your printer. You will choose Vero Magenta and Vero Yellow. We will choose this wonderful orange and save this as a favorite. We also have the option of using CMYK as an option to assign color. Since Stratasys' line of materials follow CMYK, you can type in specific values to make a specific color. C for cyan, M for magenta, Y for yellow, K for black, W for white, and T for transparency. Just make sure they all add up to 100. Now we will make C, M, Y, K, W all 20 and we'll get this wonderful gray that we will save. Our second to last option is the Pantone system. If you are unfamiliar, Pantone is a proprietary system used to match colors in order to ensure consistency. The only way to enable this selection is to have Vero Vivid Cyan, Vivid Magenta, Vivid Yellow, along with Vero Black and Vero White loaded on your machine, and you need to also enable the Advanced Slicer within Preferences. From there, you have a number of color options you can choose from. Just be sure to make note of the circles next to the colors. The circle symbol indicates color similarities or visible differences between a printed color and the Pantone swatch that is selected. A less filled circle indicates that the printed part color will be very different compared to the selected color. The more filled a circle is, the more accurate your printed part will be. From there, we'll move on to our very last option, which is our favorites. From here, we can see all the colors we have saved previously and from which section they originated. This prevents you from having a search for a color that you liked before or have been frequently using provided you saved the selection beforehand. 
you can see our previously selected Vero Cyan, our color picker color, our digital material orange, our CMYK gray, and so forth. And these are all the major ways that you can add color.